I thought I'd share with you today some of my favorite beaches down here in Sarasota County. These are just my favorite and the ones we normally go to. There's many others that are also my favorite. <laughs> They're all my favorite, but these are the ones we just go to more often. So of course, I'm going to start with the big one, Siesta Key Beach. If you've been to Florida, you've been to Siesta Key Beach, most likely if you've been on the Gulf of Mexico, it's really beautiful. The sand is like flour. It's just so soft, it never gets hot. The beach is huge, like really, really big. So no matter how many people are there, there's a spot for you to put your towel down. And what's kind of cool, sometimes they have these different uh, events going on, volleyball competitions or um, little concerts, bands. They have the drum circle. I love the drum circles. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure the drum circles are on Sunday night and drum circles usually start a couple hours before the sun sets around there. If you want to try to make sure you're closer to the center of the drum circle, get there a little bit early, bring your lawn chair or towel just to lay there. Everybody's welcome to dance and bring your own drums or hula hoops. Some of them have these glowing hula hoops, so when it gets dark, it's kind of cool to see the lights swirling around and you know, got your belly dancers. Be involved with the drum circle and bring your instruments. Dance or just hang out and have a snack while watching everybody else. So it's a lot of fun. And then watching the sunset go down, it's just a pretty spiritual thing. Just a lot of fun. Now they've added some new parking, so you shouldn't have too much parking, because that was an issue. I'm hoping that's not an issue anymore. We don't go to Siesta Key as often as we used to, because when we first moved here, we lived in Sarasota, so we were closer, and we were able to get there a little bit faster. So we found some other beaches a little closer to us. Nokomis Beach. It's not very big or popular. You know, everybody knows about Siesta Key. A lot of people go there when they come on vacation, but there's these smaller beaches that are never crowded and they're really nice. The sand is not as flowery, but it's pretty nice, pretty light. Uh, all the beaches are always clean. I've never had a bad experience other than when there's red tide and the fish are dying and they get washed on the beach. That's not good, um, but that happens on rare occasion. The Nokomis Beach is nice. Like I said, it's not real crowded. And it also, almost all of them have outdoor showers, so if you're done with the um, swimming and you get sand all over you, they usually have showers. All the ones I'm mentioning here today have showers outside, and the bathrooms are all pretty nice. Of course, you're going to have it being wet and a little sandy, but it's a place to change or just to go to the restroom, and they're pretty clean, all running toilets, not a hole in the ground or anything like that. Picnic tables, all of them have picnic tables. You can almost expect a nice beach no matter where you go on this list or anywhere in Sarasota County that I've been to. I've been to other beaches like Fort Myers Beach, beautiful, same thing, no problem, super clean. Some have lifeguards and some don't. So just be careful if there's not lifeguards, you wanna make sure you watch out for those rip tides because I nearly drowned in one many years ago. And that was and that was only like knee high water, so you have to be very careful. Watch some videos on that and how to get out of a of a rip tide that's pulling you. It's not what you were taught a while ago. There's some new studies on the best way to get out. So watch some current videos so you know the best way to get out of one if if there's not somebody around. I never suggest going swimming at a beach without some friends and uh, or making sure that there's a lifeguard and swim in front of that lifeguard because you just never know and of course we do have sharks and, and we don't have a big problem with that i know they come out early mornings and evenings from what i've read uh, i don't think that's a big problem but if you want to be careful swim where the lifeguard is so they can keep an eye on you and the comas beach i found out is the oldest beach in sarasota county so that's pretty interesting and like i said it's not super well known or anything but it's really nice so if you're in this area make sure you stop and visit they have a drum circle every wednesday and saturday night it's again right before sunset during the sunset they're playing the drums and little bells and any other little instruments that can make some noise along with the drums and people are dancing and having a great time until the sun sets and then everybody goes home if you haven't been to a drum circle i made a video I'll, if I remember to post it here, I will. 
So make sure you watch it. You can get an idea what a drum circle is. And one of my other favorites is Minnesota Beach. There's parking for handicapped right up against the beach area, closer to the beach area, and the bathrooms are brand new. There's parking just right across the street, so it's free. It's not hard to, you know, cross the street or anything. And there's a boat ramp on the other side. And that boat ramp goes into the bay, and then you can go, you know, through the bay and then come around and then go into the Gulf of Mexico if that's what you want to do. You've got boating and you're fishing and swimming and whatever else that you would like to do. It's a lot of fun. Uh, summers, you know, are pretty darn hot, so you probably won't see a lot of people at all in the summer. They usually come early morning or evening, but a lot of people are working and the tourists aren't here. So the beach is pretty much like nobody's there. It's yours. <laughs> You're out there by yourself. It does get busy from November to May, but none of these beaches that I mentioned ever get overcrowded. Siesta Key might be the only one and the beach doesn't crowd it. It's just the parking. And now with the new parking, hopefully there's not that issue anymore. If you want to find some prehistoric shark teeth, you want to go to Casperson beach and there's you could I mean the shark teeth are everywhere so bring yourself they sell them at Walmart down here these little scoopers where the water drains and it catches the sand and and the shark teeth so you'll find they're little black ones I always thought that shark teeth were big and white these are little black shark teeth so they say they're prehistoric like millions of years old so that's pretty interesting but we've got a bunch of them and you go there and find lots of them so if you're here on vacation you get yourself a souvenir at the beach this beach does not have a lifeguard so swim at your own risk make sure you have somebody with you the last beach I want to mention is Turtle Beach Turtle Beach is in Sarasota Florida there's a boat ramp so if you want to go boating it's a great place to go next door to the Turtle Beach is the Turtle Beach campground Turtle Beach campground is very small it's right on the beach right next to the beach there the beach just runs up and down the coast there so I would imagine you'd have to call ahead of time to get yourself a spot. And I don't think they're very big spots from what I've seen. Maybe they have spots that I couldn't see behind a tree or something. But I did see small RVs, campers, uh, things like that. So call them and find out. Just Google it. I hope that this helped you a little bit. If you happen to come down to Sarasota, you might see us hanging out here. <laughs> Check out those drum circles and wear lots of sunscreen don't go out i wouldn't recommend staying out on the beach for more than say 30 minutes if you're fair like me or go earlier in the day or after you know later like after four o'clock and even then i wouldn't stay out for very long bring an umbrella you can buy them at walmart once you get down here for very cheap 15 dollars and just have it and give it to somebody when you're done but if you're going to be here for a week or two and plan on being on the beach make sure you have an umbrella lots of sunscreen or a hat and sunglasses because the sun is bright 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 and it's very strong and it can burn you and you might think oh it's only 70 some degrees or whatever it'll burn you be careful but enjoy yourself have lots of fun well thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video thumbs up if you did Please share, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.